Um, so, we're just going to start our week right. Give us the best chance of having as much fun and happiness and contentment as we can this week. So find your way to a seated position. You know you're welcome to sit in a chair. You don't have to be sitting cross-legged on the floor. Um, and let your eyelids drop for a moment as you allow the breath to enter on the inhale, leave on the exhale through the nose, ideally, unless that's in any way uncomfortable, then breathe through your mouth. And the tip of your tongue can gently press up into the roof of your mouth. And as you do that, this lovely thing happens. It actually, it goes straight through the whole of your skull. Uh, a sense of expansion, of loosening, of softening. And that, that sensation is really what we're cultivating with our practice today. So just feel for yourself. I mean, if you've ever had a brace, which as you, most of you know I did, you feel very much the opposite of that when there's no expansion and everything's actually being hauled inwards. And, and that's not a great feeling. So much more natural and beautiful to have that spaciousness. But what happens through life, different parts of our body respond to what's going on in, in our life. It's not just the mental patterns that shape who we are. The physical patterns are, are laid within the cells of the body. And with every knockback, disappointment, heartbreak, rupture, we slightly harden and close different parts of ourselves. And it's true for men and women. And you can accidentally come to a place where there's almost like a calcification, a... a Solidif solidi solidification of tissue that isn't great for health and vibrancy and it's certainly not great for feeling well and feeling alive and vibrant and fluid. So we're going to use our breath today to bring us back to a place of openness and softness. And this is quite a courageous thing to do. The body has done the hardening, the closing, for good reason, it's protection. It's trying to keep us safe. So we're using deep exhales to coax our body into realizing that we are safe. So we're being brave and honest and true to ourselves. Because what our bodies really want is for us to live as an expression of divine love. Our bodies don't want us to walk around in a state of constant protection and defensiveness. So that's what we're going to play with today, this returning to an expression of divine love through softness and openness in our bodies. And it begins by pressing the tongue up into the roof of the mouth and feeling the openness and the softness that can come there. So it's certainly not forced. It's just gentle. And then feeling the same with our sense of hearing. Tuning in and just starting to notice the sounds around us. Our body loves this. And we're so vis visibly led right now. Mankind, we're so visibly led watching, assessing, creating with our eyes. So just dropping the eyelids is such a nice way to remember these other senses, your sense of hearing. And letting that expand and reach outwards as far as it can stretch.
and then bringing that hearing back in and allowing yourself the intimacy of hearing the sounds of your own body. Perhaps that's your breath. Some mornings I can hear the gurgling of my tummy. Some mornings I can hear the beat of my own heart. What's true for you today? And as you breathe in and out through your nose, some of us can probably smell as well. I know that there are more of us than ever that have had our, our sense of smell knocked out right now. But if you have your sense of smell, perhaps you have some oils burning, perhaps there is smell you can identify in the room, and perhaps not. And just be aware of what's there as you inhale and as you exhale. And you might even be able to feel the sensation of your breath moving in and out through your nostrils. Sometimes there's a quite an extreme temperature difference between the inhale and the exhale. And your skin on your face telling you about the temperature of the room. Maybe you can feel your skin on your neck and your throat, perhaps your hair is touching, perhaps some jewelry or the neckline of your clothing. Then you come to parts of your body that are wrapped in clothing right now. And they're, they're probably warmer. They probably feel and sense some weight. There's maybe straps that you can notice. Extraordinary amounts of bits of information coming through your skin. In your wrists, perhaps the clothing stops and you can feel the temperature again of your hands. Very different texture, the palm of your hands to the back of your hands, your tips of your fingers. Just aware. Sometimes you're able to be aware, sometimes not, and that's, that's fine also. The body scan is sometimes more imagination than sense because we can sometimes disconnect. And then the part of you that's touching the floor, the sitting bones perhaps, the legs, the ankles, the heels, allow that to become heavy as you fully land and anchor yourself in your body, in this moment, in this place. You're fully here. And then very gently, we'll bring a little bit of movement in. So take right ear down to right shoulder, chin down to chest, left ear to left shoulder, and coming up and over. Nice gentle circles to notice for yourself how your neck's doing this morning. Again, you might notice some sounds, switching directions. And then maybe some shoulder circles, very slow, very gentle. 
If your shoulders are anything like mine, there's a whole lot of noise going on as we circle. You might choose to bring elbow circles in. You might choose full arm extensions. I'm taking up some space this morning. And then laying your hands down on your knees, taking little circles or big circles, whatever feels right, with your heart, an opportunity for your lower back to be expressed. How does it feel this morning? How are the ribs doing? Each of the vertebrae and then changing direction. The bravest thing in the world, just to be where you are with however it feels without trying to change it or criticize it or apply your agenda. We're just observing it and accepting it for what it is in this moment, aware that it's always changing. And then coming to stillness. See if you can draw your next inhale right the way down into your heart space and allow the exhale to originate from your heart up and out through your nostrils. So the inhale coming into your heart space, it's an invitation to bring your awareness and sensitivity with your breath in through the nostrils, down into the heart, and then out from the heart and up and through the nostrils. And we all work in different ways, the, the beauty of our individuality. So some of us will see this as a very visual thing. Others will sense and feel it. Others will imagine it. And others will just try and create sensation where perhaps it's a little bit more challenging to feel. So all of it is an exploration. And as we breathe into our heart space naturally, it's a little bit easier to call to mind a few things that you're grateful for. So we can kind of stoke the fires of our hearts with a gratitude practice. Maybe just three things that you're grateful for. As you keep breathing your inhale into your heart, your exhale from your heart, allow those three things to percolate in the breath so you get really clear about why it is you're so grateful what it is that that thing person circumstance is offering you A smooth and nourishing breath into your heart space so that the heart can 
become a, a radiation, a ripple effect of heart energy stoked by the fires of your thankfulness this is your heart's favorite game you might notice a gentle smile on your lips perhaps a smile beneath your eyelids as you bask in that heart based emotion and feeling and expression of love. And taking your next inhale right the way down into the belly. So we're coming to the place beneath the tummy button right inside and again remembering that sometimes as protection for survival we can harden and close and solidify so we're inviting the breath in right the way down into the center of the belly the core of the belly to bring expansion and softness so that we can remember the feeling of being divine love in all its openness, deep within the tummy. Not always so easy, go gently on yourself. If it doesn't come so easily, just smile and keep the breath deep. Notice what you feel, what you sense, perhaps you see. As you breathe in a deep inhale, right the way down into the belly, Exhaling from the belly all the way up and out of the nostrils. It takes courage to genuinely breathe into your core like this and allow it to soften. It is a brave and true thing to do. To stay open. And your next inhale, going right the way down into the depths of your pelvis. Finding the heart of your pelvic bowl and drawing your inhale all the way down into the pelvis. And exhaling from that place all the way up and out through the nostrils. So many layers of closure can be around these soft parts of our body. They are our vulnerable, soft centers of love. So can we breathe into those spaces and just allow some of those layers to dissolve? Perhaps we don't need them all. Perhaps we can lighten the space, allow it to expand. This is no small practice, this is huge. So go gently with yourself. It's only Monday morning. None of this is that serious. It's just a curiosity. Can we go there? How does it feel? 
what effect does it have if we take our breath into the center of the pelvis and allow it to soften and expand. We can start to play with Veloma breath here. So we have the three centers. You've got the center of the pelvis. You've got the center of the belly. You've got the center of your heart. Can you play with the practice of inhaling right the way down from the nostrils all the way down into the pelvis? Exhaling your first exhale from your pelvic bowl exhaling your second exhale from the core of your belly and exhaling a third time from the center of your heart. Long inhale all the way down to the pelvis. So less about following my instruction, more about sensing and feeling for yourself. Make it playful. Exhale is divided, it's split into three parts, so it can travel into each of those three centers. And every exhale is dissolving any kind of solidity, any of the shells, the cases, the layers of protection. It may feel like a physical practice for you. It may feel like an imagined practice. You might find stories coming up as you practice. You might find narratives, feelings, emotions. Just trust whatever comes up and let yourself go deeper with a smile. And as you continue your practice, inviting an intention to come to rise to your awareness. An intention perhaps for today, perhaps for the week. And let it start in a, in a positive and present tense manner. So, I am rather than I will be. And don't hang on too much. If nothing comes up, it's fine. But we're just making space for what words might come to the surface now that we're really listening and tuned in to these beautiful divine love centers of the body.
and a gentle smile on your face. Blessings for the practice, blessings for the day ahead. Thank you so much for being here this morning. It's so lovely for us all to be together. Namaste.